Guys, today we got some amazing new updates. Not only did we get the long-awaited steering wheel, but we also got so many more items in terms of vehicles. And well, a few of those items are going to be making an awesome aircraft today. So if you guys are just as excited as I am to get into this build today, then make sure you don't forget to smash that like button. And while you're down there, you can maybe consider subscribing as well. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so first up, you're just gonna wanna find yourself a nice piece of flat land like this right here. Your dynamic foundations don't go flying around everywhere. And what we're gonna do first is get your all new brand new medium dynamic foundation we're gonna place one here one next to it so that way you have a nice platform like this and then next up this is honestly optional but you can add it if you want we're gonna add bumper tires to the outside just like this one on that side one on this side and then we'll add one in the front. Make sure you place it down a little more than I did. So add one in the front. If it's kind of like this and you can't place it in the middle, snap it one to the right and then you can use your D-pad and move it over so it's just like that in that position there. And then we're gonna add one to the back here just like that as well. All right, we got our first step done there. One step closer to your brand new amazing aircraft here. All right guys, and next up we'll come down to the rustic railing corner piece here. And we're gonna go right in the corner here, just enough to where you can place it just like that. And we're gonna complete perfect square or I guess rectangle around our whole aircraft so that way there's a corner on each side just like that. Alright guys and next up you're gonna want to get yourself this wood foundation all one piece and we're gonna go all the way to the back this is the back of the aircraft here we're all the way to the left here by this fence here and we're gonna snap it out just enough to where you can't place it. See it's red there now snap back one place it there we're gonna continue this pattern three blocks over just like that and this is what we're gonna be placing our thrusters on. Now we can grab ourselves this plank railing on two and we will just place it right in the center of the back right there, just like that. And now obviously, this aircraft is going to be unbalanced, so we're going to need a way out the front as well. So I have the perfect idea for that. So we're going to take that same wood foundation 01, we're going to do the same thing up here, place it just like that, and then three more. And then on this front one, we're going to place one in the front like that, so it looks kind of like a triangle. Kind of not, I don't know. I guess a Lego triangle, if you will. Whatever guys, I'm trying my best here, okay? Alright then, next up, what's a freaking aircraft without some wings and a tail, right? So we're going to add some wings here. We're going to go over to the floor section here. I'm just going to be using parts that everybody has. Obviously, I can use these cool looking Lions Night floor pieces, but I know lots of people didn't buy that because of the overpriced inflation of that set. So I'm just going to use rustic thin floor piece. It's a 16 foot long one. And uh, see, it's right above the wheel. We're going to go one, two, three blocks over and then place it all the way on the edge just like that. Now we'll get the 12 foot long piece. We'll snap it here and then move it two spaces over, place it there. And then we're going to go over again, get the eight foot, two spaces over, snap it and then the six foot and same deal here just one place over now you got yourself some funky looking wings there and now exact identical thing on this side as well except that wasn't all the way to the edge guys make sure it's all the way to the edge so it's perfectly balanced oh no aircraft starting to move by itself means we gotta hurry it up here guys so same thing on this side the 12 foot and i don't know how i misplaced that so bad oh my goodness Guys, I might have to retire here from aircraft soon. Alright, same thing with the 8 foot. Two spaces, then the 6 foot's only one space over. So now we got our funky looking wings there. And now, guys, we gotta add our tail, right? So I said this was for the uh, thrusters earlier, but guys, I'm making stuff up as it goes. Let's add a tail here. So get the 12 foot long piece. Place one floor in the middle there, right on the bottom of this. One to the left and one to the right. And now we can get this wood foundation piece again. This this uh, little piece here. We'll place one on the left, one on the right. and that's two blocks over the edge just like that or two spaces over the edge just like that and then we'll come up top place one on top there so i got a tail like that and we're gonna come over here and get this eight foot long rustic thin floor piece we're gonna place it right in the middle here just like that try to connect it to the side if it lets me here there we go now we got a nice little tail right there now guys it's all starting to come along here if you can tell start to look a little bit more like an aircraft now guys, this dynamic foundation is looking a little bit ugly, so now let's make a floor. So guys, I'm going to start switching up here. Come down all the way to the shack thin floor piece here, the 16 foot long one. And we're going to place it all the way to the right here. It's obviously not going to fit in that far left corner there because the fence is there. So place it as far as you can up front, just like that. And we're going to continue that pattern across the whole front here. Guys, destroy that. We're supposed to go one block over. So one block up, as you can see on the right there. And then you can continue your pattern until you get back here, then go one back to the left she so got something that looks like this all right it looks kind of weird now but all we got to do is get the shack thin floor piece 
six right here we're gonna connect it to the edge here just like that and that and now we just go along the back like this and are you wondering well you got an odd looking gap there well watch this guys grab this piece oh shoot i lost it there it is grab this piece we're gonna go right on top here as you can see to the left there we're one block actually higher so we're one block over and then we just gotta snap another one to the right here and now it doesn't look half bad now we can grab that same six foot piece here we're gonna place it on all four corners of the side right here and they'll snap into perfectly placed because they'll fit just six blocks wide right here but on this side that looks good and then this side so now you got a nice little floor for your aircraft all right guys it's all coming along pretty well here all right guys so next up obviously i'm not going to place anything here it'd be pretty cool as like a nice little touch but you're going to want to see when you're going forward. So I'm just going to leave this bare. You guys can do whatever you want with this. If you want to add like, I believe they got windshields, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If you guys want to add a windshield here for decoration, you can. But honestly, it just makes it harder to see. And I'm not all about that looks. Honestly, guys, I'm going to add some lights to the front of this though. Because that is freaking awesome. I'm going to add two lights just like this. And now we got some headlights right there. I mean, you're not going to be able to see with those up in the sky at nighttime. But guys, they look pretty cool. And also, I'm going to add some back backup lights here as well so i had two just like that now we got some cool little lights there all right guys now that that's done you can pick any of these seats here it doesn't matter all of them function the same honestly just you could use a small driver's seat if you're in survival it it doesn't cost much it's really cheap two plank two two granite and then two cord and we're just gonna place that about right in the center here it doesn't need to be perfect this is pretty much the only thing you're gonna be placing so you got all of this room right for chests or whatever you want and guys don't place a bed on your aircraft i found that out the hard way in my survival world i placed a bed right i sleep in it right next thing you know i spawn in the middle of nowhere because wherever you sleep that will spawn you on the map if you sleep here and then you fly over here and you think oh i'll spawn at my bed nope you're gonna spawn right here so don't place a bed whatever everybody's telling you placing bed on aircrafts it doesn't work so we can fit two grand chests right here perfectly and if you want honestly you can add more but that's that's what you can comfortably fit back there honestly if you move the seat up you could fit four if not six but i don't want to heavy make this aircraft heavier than it needs to be and it's getting nighttime out guys let's continue this in the daytime and bam guys it is now daytime let's put this torch away so now we can get on to the last and final part and the funnest part. Is that how you say it? Funnest? I don't know. Funnest part of this aircraft. Trying to figure out how to work these dang thrusters. Okay, it's actually pretty easy. So if you can find out where the thrusters are like I am, they're actually under this little controls. It kind of looks like a little motorcycle with a steering wheel there. All the way at the bottom. We're gonna get the large thrusters here and right about in the center here we're gonna place one to the left one to the right on the left wing there come over here and do the same thing on the right wing just like that and now all right that's fine and dandy if you don't want your aircraft to go super fast or you don't want to waste the materials all right you're good to go but if you want your aircraft to be ridiculously fast all right guys come back over to your large thruster page and we're gonna place one here 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 and finally one right on top there and now we don't only only have two on that side and two on that side we got one two three four five six seven eight nine we got ten large thrusters guys so if that don't get your toes squirming around guys i don't know what will all right i'm sorry about that you guys can click off the video now all right anyways um now to steer this thing right you're probably wondering how and to be honest there's no other easy way to put it it's gonna look ugly but you're gonna put one on each side of this block here there's really no way else to do it unless you want to like add some contraption i don't care what you guys do with this design Take this design and do whatever you want with it, but this is what I come up with, guys. Don't be mad at me. All right, so now the channel system, right? All you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a wrench. And if you're wondering, Ryan, how the flipping heck do I get a wrench? It's easy, guys. Let's say you're in survival mode and you wanna craft a wrench, right? You wanna craft a wrench. Place down your crafting bench if you don't already have one. Go to it and you don't even need to upgrade it. It's already the first in the first level. You only need three wooden rods and one cord, all right? If not, possibly the easiest thing to craft in this game, right? Go break a bush, get a, get a vine, and go to your spinner wheel get the cord and then get go to your lumber mill make some wooden rods and you're good to go make yourself a wrench and now we can assign all of these thrusters so whether you're on xbox or playstation or switch or whatever uses a controller you're gonna press the right trigger on your thrusters and we can get these channels so i'm gonna leave all of these back thrusters on channel three and that's the default so leave all of these back thrusters on channel three and for your steering ones you can put them on one or two whatever you prefer i'm gonna put this right one on channel two 
two just to keep it you know going from left to right and this one on channel one so now guys we're pretty much done all we have to do is get this thing in the air so the only thing i guys guys i made this pretty cheap for you guys so the only thing you're gonna need to get this up in the air is one large balloon back here oh shoot and for seeing easy sake i could just put one here but then you can't see so i'm gonna put one right up here in this corner and then one in this corner and guys that'll get you plenty high to fly pretty much anywhere you need to go three large balloons and this is a mind you this is a pretty big aircraft and only needing three large balloons that's actually pretty insane these medium dynamic foundations are actually pretty light and honestly if you guys destroy these chests you could fly a little bit higher but then that defeats the purpose of having you no know, a chest i mean look at this guys my whole inventory fits in there i can fit a whole nother inventory that's i don't know who else needs more space than that you can place probably up to six of these guys and if you place six you might need to add some small balloons to the edge right here you guys looks like i'm trying to walk off a plank here let's not fall anyways that's enough yapping holy crap guys i yapped too much let's sit down in this seat and test it out so if you look down in the bottom right corner right there you see one two three and you're like what the heck is that like right that's what i was like when i first you know opened up like a fortnite and i seen that. i was like is that how to switch gears or something like i have no idea what that's for but guys no that's actually to control the thrusters right long goes the days where you need switches to control your aircraft you can control it by the comfort of your own chair all you need to do right we assigned these back thrusters to channel three right so whatever your button says down there minus a you gotta press that and we will start moving so guys you ready let's test this out oh my goodness guys it's so easy it is so easy you guys have no excuse to not build an aircraft now you guys have no excuse there's nothing to complain about now no more steering blocks flying into outer space nothing there is nothing to complain about guys they added everything we could ever want and now we added those thrusters in the front to steer we're gonna use them right we assigned the left one to channel one so let's say we want to go right all we gotta do is press y and we will go right ready guys look at that guys you have no excuse now holy crap this is amazing this is my first time actually testing this out guys this is awesome i am so excited for this update guys i have so many more videos just like this coming out every single day for the next couple days if you guys don't want to miss any of those make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications on so you will never miss a new upload we haven't tested the right thruster yet so let's test channel two right now yep that's working too this is literally amazing wow guys this has to be one of the best aircrafts i've ever built if not the best aircraft no more switches no more messing around you're not falling off this thing best aircraft by far i will see you all in the next episode see you all later